So we're back for the last two sets and for some questions from the very, very active viewers. Uh, uh, thank you for all the feedback we have been getting here from, from the Kusum chat. Really nice to have a lot of interesting questions. Some of them are really difficult to answer. I'm sorry about that because, yeah, some language problems here. Some questions are really very difficult to understand. But uh, we're getting there. Uh, nice break shot here, by the way, from Panaya. Orange ball was much too fast, but he still got a good position. That can happen too. Even when you don't play the break shot perfectly, you can get a good position anyway. Many chances for that. So, a uh, question again from Mla Mark from Belgium. Now we have a little bit more idea about that person. It seems like a man. Um, Mark, what system do you use? He asks me. If you use one, of course, when playing bank shots, do you use Van Kuyk? Uh, I'm actually, I'm using a lot of different systems for different shots. Uh, some some specific uh, things which are only made for one one special shot and other 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 systems for other shots and ball systems and diamond systems and one of them is the Van Kuyk system that you are referring to for the just natural long short long shots so that's that I I, I don't know it's a, a lot of systems and s some things I have I have uh, made myself just to have a little help sometimes on some shots that I play very bad. And then we have something from Stefan van Rumst. Will you still play the UMB events? Of course I will. I'm just waiting that we have any. We have the next one now coming up in Korea, the World Grand Prix. Uh, first to 18th of, of July and we're all we're all uh, about it will be a 32 uh, 32 player tournament and uh, uh, we will have to be all the Europeans have to be and the Vietnamese as well uh, 14 days quarantine in Korea first so we have to go there like almost 20 days before the tournament to to stay 14 days in the quarantine and then then some days for practicing and then uh, 18 day tournament event and that will be nice so of course I will play the UMB events and then I have a question from Pascal Rennes and now I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly Pascal Rennes or Rennes what is your opinion about two points for the break shot, like in PBA? Ah, you mean bank shots. Two, two points for all cushion first shots, yes. There are many things you can change in our game, but that is the most stupid thing I have ever seen in my life. Two points for a little tiki shot or a bank shot, it's ridiculous. Those are the easiest positions you have, and why give two points? Okay, some bank shots are difficult, but some of them are just lucky. You get three balls in a corner, and it ends up that you can go cushion first bit for, bit for one of them. It's, I mean, it's so easy. It's just lucky that you get the position and now you should get an extra point also. It's completely ridiculous. So where are we? Two players at three points and Christian is struggling today, but he... We'll probably get lucky here and still stay second in this match because Panaya doesn't win a set, nor does Cristiani. Only Eddie Merckx winning sets today. Very much like yesterday, but this is a good shot from Cristiani. Very good shot. And cue ball comes out. Orange goes into the corner. That is a perfect example of position play to perfection. And now let's see if you can keep it up. It's actually very possible to put another good position to yourself here. Yellow ball looks fine. White ball needs to come out a little bit. That is a little bit too much maybe.
too thin contact here with orange but this is still okay thin hit needs he he needs a thin hit he gets it and smartly he tries to move that yellow ball down to the other two balls and this is nice he gets a three cushion here and can continue his run so while he is trying to produce a 10 here I get some very, very nice information here from uh, from the French chat that uh, my old friend Richard Bitalis, he says that I'm only using his system. And that is really funny because he doesn't know any system at all. The most natural player in the billiard world never cared to learn any systems. Good shot by Cristiani. But he lost position. He has a nice run of five here. Can he continue it? Cross table shot has a lot of kisses. Is there something else? I'm not sure. Something off the yellow. Short, long, short maybe. What is this going to be? Oh yes, short, long, short. Does it have enough spin? It does. Nice point. I have another question here from Greece, but I want to follow Cristiani here. Maybe he finally finds a 10 here to, to put his mark on, this, on the end of this match. This is well done. Look at the orange ball, absolutely perfect. He gets a double contact with the with the yellow ball. That's what he wanted. Keep those do those two balls down there. Almost perfect position. Just there is not enough space between orange and cushion. So maybe he will go long cushion first and right side of the orange or directly. Directly orange now, he goes cushion first. Almost no spin. He played that really well. Eight points and now he needs to be a little bit lucky there. Not that the orange ball will close his cue ball into the corner. So many things can happen here when three balls go to the corner and this was not so good, yeah. I, 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 I don't think he... Can he get back to the long cushion? If he can. Ah, it looks like it's possible. No, he couldn't. He couldn't get the long cushion. And here can still be a point. Be careful. No, he didn't. He didn't get it. But a nice run of eight. He woke up here in the end. Nice run. So I got a question here from... That was one of the questions that I didn't understand from Theodore from Greece. Uh, he, he specifies a little bit. He says, I meant that in three cushion there are a lot of strokes, a lot of speeds. Can we categorize these speeds in categories? I mean, correlation of stroke and speed, low speed, medium speed, and speedy shots. Ah, uh, yes, uh, that's, that's what I'm doing here just uh, to explain for example, the strength of Eddie Merckx, he can play the very soft shots very well and the speedy shots as well. But, I mean, it's not really that important. Our game is all about, all about getting your cue ball in that good line that it can make a carom after it's more than three or more cushions. So, and and the end, there are a lot of different strokes, of course, but, yeah, some players get along with only one stroke I mean take the cue back and let the cue go through the cue ball other players use many different kind of techniques but the, the the most important in the end is not not the speed or anything it's just that the cue ball gets 
where it should. It's all about control. You have to you have to find a way to combine spin and speed and how you hit the object balls. So it doesn't matter if we categorize so much, speedy or not so speedy, it's all about making those points. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not really hitting the nerve of your question, Theodore, but I'm doing my best, I promise you. I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm a kind of a brutal player. I only, I only want to make points, I'm not so, so much I'm not so much considering that speed or this speed. I just want to make points and have good positions. Anyway, thank you for your interest. It's, it's really nice to have all these questions. Eddie missed a shot, by the way. And here, chance for Cristiani to take this set. Yeah, he couldn't play that one slowly, so he needed to put a little bit extra speed on it. Now, there we go. Here we go again with speed. So, if you play that slow or like break shot speed, it's only going to go to the corner and can never score. So, he needed some extra speed to make it shorter. And he put too much extra speed and came up too short. It's very difficult to find that little extra speed because it very easily becomes too much extra speed. Panaya tried a very difficult shot, but he got away with it. This is not easy. Eddie actually lost in this set. So he will be looking for a run of seven here to steal this set two. Maximum English needs the cue ball to spin a lot there on the third cushion, but he couldn't really slow down his cue ball. A little bit too thin hit. Cushion first here. Not really sure what the yellow will do. Uh, he wasn't either. It's close to impossible to control that that object ball when you play cushion first because you put a lot of right side English on your cue ball. That gives that gives some spin to the object ball as well. So really, really difficult to control. You, you can't, you can't know. You can guess, but you cannot know where it's going. This is my favorite shot. I'm joking. I, I think I am the, the, the player in the, in the top 10 in the world ranking that misses the most of those. Horrible little three cushions. Sometimes I want to be like Dick Jaspers or, or somebody else. They never miss these shots. And now I get a question which is not at all about billiards. That's nice. Thank you for that. From the French chat, it comes a question in French, so I will put it in French and, and answer in French. Uh, comment as-tu appris le français? Ah oh, oui, je sais pas. Qu'est-ce que j'ai fait? Uh, mille, 1983, j'ai joué un tournoi à Moyeuvre en France, tournoi des invitations. Et 83 aussi. Championnat du monde à Aix-les-Bains, 
et championnat d'Europe à Dunkerque. Alors j'ai eu trois tournois, je pense, en 1983 en France. Et ça, je pense, c'est la première fois que j'ai je, que je, je, essayé de parler un peu français. J'avais appris déjà espagnol en école en Suède. Et après, après ça, je ne pense, je pense pas que je, je pouvais parler euh, en 1983, mais après ça, j'ai visité la France plusieurs fois, Paris, euh, Stade de Coubertin, tournoi de PWA, et plus tard euh, en, en Wallonie, j'ai joué à, à Bossu. Et là, ça a commencé un peu... Et les dernières années euh, avec l'Axou. Alors j'ai appris euh, en parlant, en parlant avec euh, avec mes amis en France. Et Belgique. Je parle un peu, mais je ne sais pas écrire. C'est très difficile d'écrire le français. C'est beaucoup de, beaucoup de lettres, je ne comprends pas. Je ne comprends pas pourquoi. Un tout petit mot, mais beaucoup de lettres. Difficile. Five cushion shot by Eddie Max. Looks a little short. Yeah, I think Eddie has has started to relax. Maybe this set will go to the Netherlands. But this shot does not look really easy. Again, a little bit unlucky here for for Cristiani. This could so easily have been a, a super easy three cushion. Just move the orange a little bit out and change the angle with a couple of centimeters to the yellow and you have a perfect position. Now he goes cushion first here. That's a nice point. Huh? Beautiful. And gets that side hit on the yellow, opens up perfect position for the set point. Here it was difficult to know where the orange ball goes. It might just as well have gone on to the yellow, so maybe that was why he took an extra some extra time to think about that. This is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Position for a set point. There goes his fourth set. And we are in for the very, very last set and everything is clear now. Uh, Merckx will win and qualify to the finals. Cristiano will be second and Panaya third. So the very last set here and the last chances for the chat to put in some last questions. And I can say now already that uh, after the last point has been played, I will disappear pretty quickly here because there will be some interviews with the players. So I'll just, uh, I'll just go away when, when the play is over. Will all players struggling with a break shot today? Only once I think we have seen a perfect position after the break shot. So when I come back to this tournament I have to I have to take a look and see if it's really that difficult to get get that break shot right. I think so because otherwise we would have seen many more perfect break shots. Cross table, bank shot, long, long, long. Ah, pity. That was a good try. I actually had an ultra short interview with Eddie Max before this match started. It was like a three second interview, and I asked him if he was going to play some trick shots today because he had already 
won the match. And he said, oh, maybe in a, in a good situation. <laughs> and maybe that was one of them. That was also a nice try for a spectacular shot. So Cristiani gets the chance here, maybe to win two sets in a row. That one hit the, exactly the corner. It should have taken two short cushions first and would have had a good chance. Five cushion on the short side. That might give a good position. If the orange ball stops right there, it's good. I have a question coming in here from Portugal, Ricardo Santos. Do you know if there will be any comments when you will play your group? Uh, the only thing I know is that I will not do any commentary on that group. But uh, yeah, you will have to watch, uh, open up the Kozum. I'm sure there will be information about that if there will be another somebody that will do the commentary. So the next question can be, who do I wish to do the commentary when, I, when I'm playing? I would really like to have a, one of my colleagues do it. But why not, uh, why not our professional in Holland, Bert van Manen? Why not? Good shot by Eddie Max here from a little bit awkward cue ball position. The shot was easy enough, but the cue ball position was good. That always, always adds a little bit to the problems. Now five cushions. Long, short, long, and then long and short behind the white. Normally gives good positions. You hit that white from behind. And it's also, normally, it's a wonderful way of playing safe. Because if you miss that shot, those two balls were always, will always be like, yeah, a little bit diagonal. And if the next player has the yellow ball, it's bad news. And that is the case that we have right now. You really don't want to have the yellow ball in this position. White ball would have been much nicer. Yolanda van den Berg asking, do you like ABBA? Yeah, who doesn't like ABBA? Of course I like ABBA. But it's not like my favorite kind of music. But they were really good. Some, some special song-making song qualities they had with some very special harmonies that not, not many bands have been able to find such wonderful, such amount of uh, wonderful harmonies. I do recommend uh, for people visiting Sweden, go to Stockholm and go to the ABBA Museum. That's nice. Looked like he was aiming for a cross-table shot here. Cristiani, but he needs a timeout. I think he can draw back, just four cushions. Or even. Ah, he's going to follow to the short cushion. Short cushion, long cushion, short cushion. Yeah, that's nice. Really good shot. 
but he gets unlucky. Such a good shot, but such a horrible position. <laughs> couldn't couldn't have been worse. No blame. No blaming him there because it's not his fault that he got this position. He made a wonderful shot and now he has to go for a big umbrella shot. Two cushions first and the far side of the yellow. Oh yes, that was good. A little bit too much ball. Nice three cushion for Eddie Max here, but he does need a pretty thin hit on the white, so. But yeah, it, this this should be a point for a, for a normally concentrated Eddie Max. This should be a point, I would say. Very possible that he has relaxed already. Looking a little short, but it's okay. Ah. And white ball went to the court, to the cushion. I'm not sure if he can use the white ball here. Ah, oh, we see here group F, 11, 12 and 13 May. Very soon, Jakob Hack Sørensen, uh, Jeremy Bury, and who was the third? Peter de Bakker? Yeah. That's going to be a nice group. Very competitive group. Did I get that right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm too slow. But anyway, uh, That will be, yeah, I have the confirmation. De Bakker, Bury, and... And... <laughs> and now I lost one. Oh. Yeah, I, I have to... I, I lose everything when I see this shot. It's such a wonderful shot. So we take it again. Sørensen, Jakob Hack Sørensen from Denmark, Jeremy Bury from France, and Peter De Bakker from Belgium. That will be a very tough group. And I'm, I don't know, I will say right now, I'm absolutely sure the score will not look like the score in this match. Nice seven cushion shot by Eddie Max. Favorite to win this set as well, so the end result will probably be 19-4-1. Yeah, that is murder. So, what was the dates? 11, 12, 13. So, there are three days in between, so I will have to do some practice for myself, those three days. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And I guess... I will be doing the commentary and I also guess that there will not be a Q&A day on the last day because I don't think that group will be decided going into the third day. Of course, Jeremy Bury is big favorite, so I would say it is possible that he has clinched it already after two days, but I do guess that that will not be the case. So match point here for Eddie Max. The match he has already, but let's say set point in set number 24. Come on. Time out. No, he's still concentrated here. He takes a timeout. Uh, maybe he doesn't want to play one more inning. 
it's not really obvious what you have to play here. Draw shot, is he going to draw to, to the short cushion? Yes, okay. That is a shot. It has a lot of spin there, yeah, too much. Nice try, he found a nice way of solving that problem. Difficult position for Panaya here, he is on zero in this set. Very nice shot. Frozen balls. Contact. Touching ball. That is another thing that I would would like to introduce in our game. Use the same rules for frozen balls like the snooker. And maybe it's going to be too easy. Maybe that's stupid. Touching ball in snooker means that you have actually already hit that ball. So in our game, that would mean that you just play a three cushion bank shot and hit the third ball. Yeah, that's maybe that's stupid. It's going to be too easy. But I, I, I don't, I'm not so happy with this rule that you frozen balls, you put them on the spots. And sometimes you get a fantastic position and sometimes you get something horrible, unplayable. So that is kind of a strange rule. He doesn't have a timeout, yes, I, I thought so. He has to find a way to shoot. Four seconds, three seconds, horrible position, one second. Oops, almost too late. But he made a good shot, almost made it. Yeah. I, I don't think it has been so obvious today but the first two days, both Panaya and, and Cristiani, they were really struggling to have good positions, both on the first and on the second day. But today it hasn't been that bad. I think just they were so far behind that, yeah, they had no hopes. And Eddie just playing along, making a lot of points and also had a lot of lucky shots today, Eddie Max. That was a nice way to finish. I almost forgot that it's the last point. So we congratulate Eddie Marx and I thank all the viewers for watching and listening and, and most of all for sending interesting questions. And I will see you or you will hear me on Kusum when the next group will be played. So thank you, all of you, and I'll be back. See you again. Bye-bye.
Maxime, euh, seulement 20 ans, mais déjà un sacré talent. Euh, malgré un seul set remporté, tu as, as réussi à, te, à rentrer dans la bataille sur plusieurs manches face à deux joueurs euh, redoutables. Euh, et on a vraiment eu du plaisir à te voir jouer. Quel souvenir garderas-tu de ces trois jours bah, Un très très bon souvenir, même si effectivement j'ai raté quelques points faciles qui ont, qui, ont, qui ont été décisifs justement. J'aurais pu remporter des sets grâce à ça. Bon, ça n'a pas été le cas, mais c'est pas grave. Mais dans l'ensemble, je, je retiens un très bon, un très bon point. J'ai passé, j'ai pris énormément de plaisir. Surtout que ça fait des mois et des mois qu'il n'y a plus de compète, donc euh, c'était top, quoi. D'accord. Tu aurais un petit mot pour tes fans. Tu as de nombreux fans en France, je crois. Bah, bah je, je tiens à les remercier pour euh, tout leur soutien. Et bah, ils, ils me suivent jusqu'au bout et ça me fait, ça me fait plaisir. Et... Tant qu'ils sont là, bah, je, me donnerai, je me donnerai au meilleur de moi-même, justement. D'accord, bah on était ravis de te recevoir. On te souhaite un bon retour à toi et à ton père. Et puis, euh, à bientôt. Merci. Merci. Thank you. First, thank you for, thank you for coming um, after the withdrawal of uh, Typhoon Tazdemir. Uh, it was very late. Uh, but you accept and um, we know that uh, you don't play at your true level uh, these days, uh, not really. Um, what do you feel after this, uh, these days? Yeah, of course I was very glad that I get the chance to uh, play here and of course you want to, uh, to show the world uh, your best but okay I had one week and I get the two three days of training and uh, I think in the end it was not enough. I play bad, I really miss a lot of chances to take uh, a couple of sets more. And then of course you, you, you go into a little circle of uh, negativity when you miss too much points and then uh, yeah, it was too bad that I couldn't uh, show the best of me. Yeah, you, you play last season in uh, Dutch League, you play more than 1.8 average, I think. Um, yes, it, it was not your real level. Um, Do you think uh, you don't have some preoccupation maybe with um, with uh, the way you, you wait for an happy event in October and uh, so on and your billiard activities as a billiard teacher has been um, somewhat disrupted the, the few the last months yeah. um, your mind was uh, elsewhere maybe Yeah, maybe also, but I think it's uh, for all the same. We are in a, we're in a bad position now for all of us because we don't play as much tournaments, we don't play the competition, we don't have as much training as usually, so we all want to play. So first, I'm just happy that I could play here. For me, it was a nice uh, chance. And uh, of course, I think I hope that uh, for everything uh, will change and that we have a better time and we can play again and we have some matches and some competitions and tournaments. And then it will be for the best, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dave. And um, good comeback to to Holland. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Eddie, uh, congratulations for this nice uh, qualification. You're the best qualifier with uh, 19 sets. Hard to beat now. <laughs> 19 sets out of uh, 24. Um, you look very fit before going to Korea. Um, usually, during the, the crisis, the COVID crisis, people uh, took some weight, but not you. I lose 15 kilos. So, and the other side, <laughs> no, no, two kilos, but I lose kilos. Yeah. Yes. Um, Torbjorn Blondal and uh, statistics um, uh, said uh, says that you are the best in the world on uh, zigzag shots, zigzag uh, shots. Uh, shall we name these shots Merck's shots, like Jasper's shots? <laughs> uh, you're amazing. Um, close angle, open angles. You, you, you're very strong in that uh, compartment. Yes, you're right. Uh, when I, and maybe I know the reason <laughs> a little bit, because uh, when, uh, when I was very young, Uh, I, I see uh, maybe the first game from Ramon Keulemans and uh, he make a shot like this in Brico. And uh, I come home and I have a small table, uh, 1 meter 60 on 80. 
and, uh, and, and we come in the night, we come at home, and I take my cue, and I'm going to try this. So my father said, well, what are you going to do? I see a shot, I want to try. So, and from that moment, the shot is uh, in my mind, and uh, I like, and uh, I, I, I play a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But is it, uh, do you train a lot on this shot, or is it a question of feeling? Uh, yeah, feel, feeling, most of the feeling. Of course, you have to practice a shot, of course. If you play never, uh, you lose uh, the shot. Because uh, Blomdal said also that uh, after these shots, you, are, you have always a good positions. Many times, eh? you open the ball, so you have a good chance uh, for the next point. Yes. Okay, uh, so thanks, thank you, Eddie, for coming here. You give us a great pleasure to see you uh, with wonderful shots. Uh, maybe a little word for your fans in Belgium and all over the world. Yes, so... I want to say thank you to follow the games the last three days to all the fans and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Bye-bye.